Beat Locks, a new open source AI image generator beats both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion 3. According to this post on Reddit, Black Forest Labs is the team that helped develop the original Stable Diffusion technology. They have launched Lux, the largest open source text to image model currently, with staggering 12 billion parameters. Lux can deliver visuals that rival both Midjourney and Stable Diffusion. Lux comes in three variations Lux Pro, Lux Dev, and Flux Schnee, which is a German word for rapid or fast. Flux Pro is the flagship version. It's the best version of the Flux One family. It offers the highest quality and the best image generation capability. This version is only available through the ABI. Flux Dev, which is the second one, it's an open source with non commercial licenses for the community development. Lux Dev comes the second best in the family. It offers the same quality in terms of image generation, but the advantages of the Dev lie in the efficiency. It managed to achieve the almost the same result as the Pro version while being computational efficient. Make it excellent for developer and researcher and people who love to create their own private model or custom datasets. Lux Genie which is the last one in the family. It means fast in German. It's optimized for speed and local development. This version is the fastest one among the three, making it perfect for rapid prototyping and personal project. And it's also the only model available under the Apache 2 licenses, which make it perfect for creating commercial projects. In this benchmark test, Lux say its models have set new standards in image synthesis, beating both Midjourney version 6 and DALI 3 HD and the Stable Diffusion 3 Ultra. Black Forest claim that the Pro version and the Dev version are the current best image generators to date, but the Shni version is less powerful in the Stable Diffusion 3 Ultra, but better than Midjourney version 6. Users with a smaller GPUs may be out of luck of running this locally. The open source model weight about 23 gigabyte, which means it would need about 24 gigabyte of VRAM until we get quantized version of this model. User with GPUs with 6 and 8 gigabyte of VRAM will not be able to run this model locally. But fear not. I found code that can run both the dev version and Schnee version on a free Google Collab notebook with the T4. Let's take a look to this code. All the links for the dev model will be downloaded on this Google Collab notebook. We're gonna import the necessary libraries like Torch and MBI to able to run this code. And here, this code is already created for us. I'm going to leave you both the original source code and my own code, which is this the current one. It handle loading the model using Torch inference so we can run it easily. All you have to do here is write your own prompt over here and just run the last cell. It will take about four to six minutes to run this image, but it will give you a high definition image with the amazing details there is nothing else i did except just running these four cells to get this high quality image in this last cell you can change the width and the height of the image how many steps that you want to define for assembling processes if you have a seed you can bot it over here or generate a random one and finally the image result will be inside the content flux.bng and you can just copy it from here copy and download and you can use it however what you want it's a bit slow because this is the dev version not the shni version which is the fastest one let's take a look to the abis that available that we can access to use this model black forest has partnered with, with fall ai developer to give us the three current available model through the ABI of Fall AI. I'm gonna leave you the link for it in description so you can grab it. You can create your account for free and create your own new key 
it give you about two dollars for free you can test it a little bit if you want to run the dev version or the she version for free you can go to replicate.com black forest labs the pro version will be available but you have to pay to run it and actually it's inside the featured model or image generator as you can see here you can put the prompt the aspect ratio you can put the seed what kind of format do you want and the output quality and there is also an abi access for it through replicate.com and here they have their own sdk for both node.js and python if you calculate the cost efficiency for this model it will cost you about one dollar to generate 33 images using the flux pro version let's compare it to mid journey mid journey basic plan cost about 96 dollar per year and eight dollar per month and it let you run 200 images per month which is something like 25 images per dollar in conclusion the flux pro is the current best model that generate image we have that's it for this video all the links you will find it in the description for the Boston Reddit, the Replicate AI, and Fell AI, and an article talking about the details of the Flux model. Plus the code for the dev version and the new version, you will find it also in the description. If you found this video useful for you, please hit the like, it will help the channel a lot. And subscribe if you like this kind of content, because I'm gonna make more of it thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one